Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to a new game that's going to be soon to be released, Road Maintenance Simulator. I'd like to thank Aerosoft for sending us an early access key to be able to showcase this to you guys. As you're all going to know, this is going to be released on April the 7th for PC as well as PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series XS. So we're going to go over the next couple of days, we're going to be looking at the game, we're going to be playing some missions, we're going to be looking at the machineries uh, and, and see what you guys think. Uh, so there's numerous opportunities await you in this busy environment created on Road Maintenance Simulator. Choose between 30 extensive missions with complex and interwound uh, tasks such as placing road markings, pruning trees, cleaning roadside verges, uh, repairing roads, placing traffic signs and install crash barriers. Drive any number of faithfully reproduced vehicles such as the flatbed trucks with warnings and reverse alarms, dumper trucks and road marking vehicles to name a few. Master adventurous missions making full use of this detailed replicated vehicles and equipment in the new road maintenance simulator. So what we're going to do, we're going to get straight into the game and we're going to have a look around. Okay, so we're in the game, uh, so be aware that this is a early access build. This might not be the final uh, quality build that we'll get on release day. Uh, so look, we're going to go to the obvious uh, indicated marker, which is the front door here. Uh, just so you guys know, I'm going to be using a Xbox controller. Okay, chaos on the highway. Guardrails were badly damaged. You know the drill. Get the necessary materials, cordon off the usual, and you need to dispose of the old guardrails in the dumpster in the services yard. Times are wasting. Get those rails back up before someone crashes into them again. Okay, take a vehicle with a warning system. So... Let's have a look around. Doesn't seem to be any extra buttons to run. This is our run. Okay, that's fine. So we've got three uh, vehicles here. At the moment, we've got the roller. Uh, this is one of those Tar Macadden machines that kind of recreate the roads. Uh, but we're looking at uh, for a crash barrier. So we're assuming that we're going to take uh, this bad boy. Let's have a little look around the yard. Is there anything else? Can I get into these garages? Oh, we can. There does seem to be... Uh, might need to turn down my sensitivity a little bit. Oh, okay, so we've got a nice little man truck. Take a vehicle with warning systems. That might have warning systems. Uh, what's in the next one? Oh, this is probably better. This has got a big warning system. Yeah, okay, that might be the one that we want. But we're going to continue having a look as it is our first look. Uh, are you like a, a road cleaner? Okay, that's cool. It's different. What have we got in here? I think this is going to be something to do with maybe the hedges or something, or the verges. Okay, that's fine. I don't exactly know what everything is. Um, what have we got here? Is this going to be like the painting tool maybe? I don't know. Can we touch the things on the side? Not really. That's fine. Okay, so I think what we need is the one with the warning system. This this one. Ah, look. It'd even show you with an indicator because <laughs> I didn't even notice that when I walked in. Okay, so this is what we want. Okay, we're inside the vehicle. Now, the sounds are quite quiet. Let's just uh, make sure the volume's uh, right up there for you guys. It's quite quiet on the inside. Uh, we can change with L3. That must that must be the handbrake. And it looks like we need to pick something up over here, is it? Okay, so press Y. We need to open the guardrails. Load traffic beacon bases. So, these these guys, by the looks of it, how many does it load at a time? One. How many, how many do I need? Do I need all of these? Oh, ten. I can only pick up one at a time. Okay, so that's, that's okay. It's going to take a little bit of time. We don't want it to be too easy. And we're going to need some tools as well. Now the one thing that I might do for the next episode is turn down my sensitivity on my uh, on my axes. It's quite sensitive. 
But I've been looking at this game for quite a while. Uh, watched it on the uh, Next Fest and stuff like that. We've been keeping an eye on it on any of the Aerosoft shows. And yeah, I've been quite excited for it myself. I think it has huge potential. Can't wait to dive in a little bit more. Why are you not loading? Oh, okay, we've got 10 bases now. So we need some more of these guys. Oops. Okay, that's two. That's three. Four. Five. Warning, automatically load the remaining items. Ah, so you can automatically load them as well if you wished. That that's cool. So so some people that don't want to, you know, do all this thing, you know, it is letting you manually do it. That's that's a cool little feature actually. I quite like that quite a lot. because uh, some people, you know, they just want to go out and do the jobs. But for the simulation value, we are going to do everything ourselves, see how long it takes to do this first mission. Uh, up until release, I do plan to probably release one video a day on this, uh, showcasing some of the missions or whatever I can possibly do. Okay, we need four guardrails, which is going to be you guys. No. You my guardrails? Okay. Might be around the other side then. We need the wheelbarrow, I know that. Using wheelbarrow you can transport a maximum of three items, traffic beacons, bases. Oh okay, we've known that before maybe. How do I get you up here? Do I need to put like a plank of wood on or under. Okay, let's break that out in a second. What else have we got? Okay, it seemed to flash something there. No. There's lots of tools here for us to be looking at. Okay, we do need the drill. So we've taken the drill. Are all the tools here? That just seemed to be like one. There you go, wheelbarrows on. Guardrails, here you are, you're flashing at me now. There we go, we're getting there now. Hopefully it's not bugged out because I have to do in a certain order. Quite a bit of equipment for this first job. Okay, close the tailgate. Uh, they're all closed now. I think so. Part vehicle worksite, switch to warning. All right, okay, open. Right, we're going to head off now by the looks of things. Okay. Let's turn around then. Let's get out into this real world. Obviously, I must have to open these gates, right? Okay, we better be careful when we pull out. The cars are pretty damn quick. I'm 
Not sure how fast we're allowed to go. Oh, it's the national speed limit. Okay, we have to stop. Stuff is coming that way. Don't really know who has right away, but we just left. <laughs> okay, so inside looks alright. It looks pretty good. Loving the way it talks you through what we need to do as well. Okay, so it looks like we're going on to kind of like the motorway. Nothing's coming. Got to let that car pass again. Okay, so this is where we need to be. Okay, we should have turned on our left arrow by the looks of things. We have. Sweet. Okay, open the tailgate. Unload the wheelbarrow. B. E. There you go, nice. Right. I'm assuming, yeah, we can put items in here. This will make things a lot faster. How many can go in here? Three. Okay. It was worth a check. How do I put you back? <laughs> Please go back. Okay, I might have to do the first one by hand. That's okay. So, let's lay the first one down. Let's grab our wheelbarrow. No. There we go. Let's go to the furthest point away first. So I had a little look at the options. Uh, on the current build, I couldn't find any kind of sensitivity uh, marking. So yeah, it is a little bit, a uh, little bit oversensitive for me. But it's more than fine. Some people will probably prefer it like this. I don't usually play with an Xbox controller. In all fairness, with many games. Okay, there's three of our markers down. Let's pick up the barrow. Is there any other views? Is there a way to see our person, I wonder? Uh, going for all the buttons. It doesn't, uh, doesn't feel like it. No. Okay, that's fine. Okay, make sure we actually click on the things we want. Okay, one here, one here, and one there. There we go. <laughs> Feels a bit dodgy. We'll get used to it, maybe. Okay, one, two, and three. Doesn't seem to be any cars on the road now. Ah, oh, look, I missed one all the way up there. Pick up one of you guys. One, two, and three. Let's take you back. I assume that we now need the uh, the other bits. Can they go in here? 
Yep, they can. It might let you take three items, but some different stuff you'd think maybe uh, we could take a few more bits and pieces because I mean any guy would stack that to the top wouldn't they let's be honest there we go we'll put that out though let's get our wheelbarrow I stay out in the country to go do some work I can't wait to do some of the uh, road works and stuff it's gonna be so cool really excited and, and so far it feels really good okay let's get you guys out I suppose the worst part is putting these out and putting them away but safety first and all that with this job okay let's get the barrel back let's get down here He's going to run well faster when it's light. There we go. No. I'm clearly looking at this, aren't I? There we go. One of you. One of you. One of you. Okay. Nearly there with these guys. I love the movements even. The movement's really nice with the barrow. Okay, let's pick up our signs. Let's get you on. Could just do what they do uh, like here in Ireland. They'll put all this stuff out and we won't see anyone do any work for a while. It's the same when they're like cutting hedges or, or anything or just cleaning. They'll shut down two lanes just for this. <laughs> That's what happens. Okay, let's, we'll go around this side. Tailgate out of the way. Should be the last three, I think. How did I do that again? I seem to always miss one there. It's really weird. Okay, we need to go pick up our tools and remove the damaged guardrail. So we'll get the tool. Gotta undo some screws. Nice. Oh, there we go. We came off that time. Okay, so we need to take this damaged one off. We're going to put you on here. We're going to... Do I have to take them all off first? Okay, that's obviously what it wants us to do. That's fine. Okay, that one works. No problem. Perfect. Nice if I could, I suppose, would the wheelbarrow take them? I think that seems a bit silly. No, I can't while well, I've got the tool in my hand. Okay. So it's one for the other. Okay, perfect. We'll take you off. One, two, three. The other broken one's going to be down the far end there, isn't it? And dump it in there. No, so you have to do it this way. I do like the way now that we're working though, there's no traffic. It's nice to see some cars be going by or something. But it's okay. Safety first and all that. Okay, let's uh, get on to the next one. Perfect. Take the barrier off. Okay, we can now go get the new ones. I think we can place them all on, nice. 
and then we can go up with the screw last. No, that's not the way you do it. We we have to we have to screw it in. Okay, you know it'd be nice. Maybe if I can get a nice screenshot here of what we're doing, or maybe I can get one with the truck and make a nice thumbnail. As we got no traffic. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, let's uh, carry on with our job. Let's not get too carried away. Okay, that's one done. Go to the furthest away one this time. One here. Okay, perfect. Let's go back. We're doing okay. But yeah, I really can't wait to, you know, start tearing up some roads and re-rolling roads and tarmacking and stuff. Can't wait to see how they've got the mechanics for that sorted. Uh, so for most of the week now until release day, like I said, I will be probably releasing a video a day of this. So there might be two videos a day for a couple of days. There we go. But hopefully you are enjoying this as well. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this so far? Will you be picking this up? You know, I think it's great. It's coming out for Xbox and uh, PlayStation users as well as PC from the get-go, which is uh, really, really good. Sometimes these things are only on PC and the uh, console players have to wait a little while. But it's not the case for this one today. Nice. Okay, we've got to load our tools. We've got to get our beacons back, our bases, of course. Uh, we knew that was going to happen. I wonder, can I take a beacon and a base? Beacon and a base. What do you reckon? Oh yeah, it's going to allow that. That's good. Okay. They're my free items. I do think for some of the bigger jobs, you know, the, the mission time is going to be pretty big. I mean, they say it's going to come with 30 missions, so I expect them to last a decent amount of time, at the very least. Okay, let's put you back on. Put you back on. And you. Is, is it easier doing it this way or doing all one one of another? I don't know. Don't think it matters really. I imagine there might be a, a fast load like they did in the uh, workshop, maybe. I reckon. I'd say once we get there as well, we'll probably have to unload. Back up we go. Yeah, for a nice little introduction to the game. Nice little job. And it's positive. I wonder will they maybe allow some sort of workshop access where people will be able to make their own missions and stuff up for later on. That would be pretty cool to see what the community can come up with. I don't know if that is what they're planning or not, but if they were, uh, that would be a pretty good shout. And hopefully they'll expand it maybe with different machinery, uh, more jobs maybe, as long as it's not too much like DLC payware stuff I mean you know this is the way we seem to go with games more and more these days but it'd be good to see if they add more features and but it's good to see we like we don't know everything that's here yet so we'll have to definitely play through more of the game to work all that stuff out uh, but so far yeah I really really like it 
you know, it's only a first mission. It's just kind of an introduction of what we have to do. There's going to be lots to do. And remember that I've only got an early access copy, you know, other little bits and pieces still might change. Okay, let's get rid of you, you, and you. I think that's nearly worked out quite well. One, two, three. Might be an easier way to have done it at the beginning even. I didn't see any kind of uh, quick access to this part, so yeah, you do have to do all this by hand. Which again, I'm okay with. You know, it simulates what we're supposed to be doing. We don't want to be skipping everything, do we? Okay, throw you on. Mind you. Let's get your wheelbarrow on. Close up our gates. switch off the warning system so we're going to get back in and we're going to press it does that does that switch it off yet how do i switch it off there we go just my little flashing beacon nice Drive the vehicle to the service yard. Okay, so I do seem to have a outside view now. There we go, found the button. Uh, I can't seem to be able to go back a bit though, so I can't really see what we're doing. Anyway, so scale off the hard shoulder, get back to the yard. We need to open the tailgate, unload the wheelbarrow, probably have to unload everything else, which is okay. Proper dodgy driving by myself there. Does remind me a little bit of the Builder Simulator. I haven't played that in a long, long time. We're going to go through it.
Okay, so we're already back at the yard. It was a nice kind of circle route. Gate's still open from earlier. Okay, is there a certain marker it wants me to go to? Not that I can see. Drive to the vehicle services yard. Well, that's where we are. Okay, that is correct. Open up the tailgate, unload the wheelbarrow, and put him back. And yet, yeah, as I thought, we need to unload everything. Okay, where are you guys going? Disposed all the way down the end, only if I'd known. I am thinking it's just better off driving up there. Perfect. Tailgate open. Uh, don't have to go so far then. It'll take forever. Should have drove up the first time. Okay, that's the scrap metal done. We need to unload all the tools. So let's go back down here now. You know what? We need to do all the beacons and stuff. So I'm okay with just being down here. Okay, the tools need to go back on the uh, side here. Okay, so let's uh, see that that works pretty well. So coming back in the evening after you've done all that work, actually, it's not so bad to probably uh, skip it. Once you've done 50% of it, they do let you skip by the looks of things. Uh, and you've only got a couple of seconds to react. So make sure you do if that's what you want to do. Ugh. I think it should be a different button for that bloody tailgate. And we're gonna just fast put them back. Close the tailgate. We gotta put the vehicle back where it came from. I think the vehicles are quite nicely done. We got a lot to choose from. And we completed our very first mission, the guardrail. Uh, so to get to the next mission, all we need to do is go down here to the building and we'll select our next mission. Um, like I said, we're in no, no particular rush for that. I just want to get a couple of screenshots to share with my Discord. If you are new and want to come join us in Discord, please do. You are all more than welcome. I'm going to be posting some screenshots of uh, this for sure for everybody. Some different bits and pieces uh, so they can see. 
big thank you to Aerosoft again for letting us have a key to uh, showcase this for you guys in early access uh, before release. And again, it will be available on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox uh, XS. So it is going to be available on all options. And it's a great little game so far. I really enjoyed that mission. Uh, I like the idea of it. So hopefully it'll continue to, uh, to grow on me. We can uh, hopefully get to see a lot of all these other different jobs, some of these different machineries. What do they do? Uh, probably should turn off those flashing lights, but it's okay. It'll probably do it itself in a minute. Get a nice little van for some easy jobs, maybe. Cool. So there we have it, guys. There is the first mission. I will do an episode of mission. So however long they take over the next couple of days. Let me know in the comments down below. Is that something that you want to see? Are you wanting to see more of this... Uh, road maintenance simulator please let me know uh like just subscribe if you're new and i'd love myself thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye for now